So here you can kind of see the idea I had to test this out. So in this video we're gonna see does this work? How can it work? How can we make it better? So as you see here, let's say we have a SQL database. We have some inputs. Uh, in our case that is gonna be names, age, uh, professions and what their speciality is in kind of what they are good at, some achievements they have done. So basically a list of let's say it could be employees, right? And we can actually pull that data, we can chunk it if we want to, and we can generate the embeddings uh, from the SQL database, right? Then we can actually, when we run our RAG model then, we can just query uh, the SQL database sort of in a natural language. So we don't have to use this special, uh, it's not special, but these SQL commands, right, to get the data we want. And we use RAG with uh, some hybrid search I created to pull context from the embeddings, right? And we can just run a local model in our case. I think we're just gonna run Mistral or Llama3 using Ulama. And we can again ask the local model uh, with the pull context, uh, whatever we want, right? That, could, that is kind of the query. And it will also return the uh, natural language answer. So we will not get kind of a structured output, but we will get the response in more of a natural language form, right? So I think we're just gonna look at kind of how I set this up uh, in Python code. And let's just see how it works. Is this something or this is, is this just something we should forget right away? So yeah, let's take a quick look. Okay, so you can see here we have just a very simple database here on Heroku. It's, uh, yeah a PostgreSQL database, and if we take a look at our code now, uh, let's say see what's inside this database now. So let's just pull what we have so far. So you can see here we have one entry, that is Alice Smith, she's 29 years old, she's a software engineer, she's an expert at her field, and she has developed a blockchain-based uh, voting system, that's her biggest accomplishment, right? So I went ahead, I created kind of these synthetic data sets here in JSON. So I think there's about 30 other profiles. Yeah, so these are just made up profiles, right? So let's uh, write those to our DB here now. So I think we can just go auto push.py. And this is gonna, yeah, write this to our database. And we can pull it again, just to confirm that all entries have been, uh, yeah. Are confirmed so if we take a look here now you can see data insert successfully we can pull it again right and hopefully now we have about yeah around 30 entries to our SQL database and yeah you can see here now we kind of got more into our database Bruce Wayne okay that's interesting so let's just clear that now we know that our bait database is kind of filled up here so what I went ahead I did I created something called pullragdata.py so this is yeah of course we're gonna have our database url here so we can actually pull the data and we have set a profile here uh, in our database and we are just gonna chunk this to thousand now i'm not gonna focus too much on the chunk size here uh, because i just want to test it out we are running an embeddings model here from olama so this is 100 percent locally uh, so this is the mbox i embed large model there are basically other models too you can uh, try if you want to we're gonna save our embeddings into vault embeddings.json and we have a text file that we're gonna write our chunks to before we embed this into our json file so if we run this now let me just go python what did i call this i think it was pull rag was it something like this pull rag data. So now we're gonna take the data from our SQL database, we're gonna chunk it, we're gonna create embeddings and save it to the JSON file. So we should get like a confirmation here. Okay, so you can see SQL data converted to embeddings, perfect. And that means that we are kind of ready to run our SQL rag file here. So basically this is the same we have used before in a normal rag setup. The only difference is that I have added something called hybrid search. I went a bit over this on my previous live stream if you want to look more into it. But it basically we are combining keyword search with semantic search. 
so we kind of get the best of both worlds, right? And we have selected what model did we pull, so let's check our config file here. Uh, we are running Mistral for this now, so you can kind of set this up as you want to. Uh, so other than that, uh, I don't think I'm going to spend too much time on the code now because I have covered this before. But we have some options here, so I kind of want to clear our cache now when we run this. So let me just show you now, if we go back to the terminal, we can clear this, right? We can do python, we can do sql rag, and we can do dash dash clear cache. So we kind of get a fresh representation of our uh, embeddings. Uh, okay, save embeddings to vault embeddings.json. Perfect. So now we can actually start just in natural language and asking some questions about this, right? So let's say I wanted to find the best employee to actually create uh, the mobile app for our uh, for our company. So I could just do something like, I need a developer to create our next mobile app. Who is the best candidate? So that is a very natural language search, right? And here you can see we are pulling, uh, we are pulling from the semantic search, right? And we are also matching up with keyword context. So uh, yeah, you can see we are both using this as context and the keyword search. And you can kind of see now, based on the given context, Fiona Davis and Wendy Clark are the candidates with experience in developing mobile apps. Fiona Davis has developed a mobile app that has over 100k downloads, while Wendy Clark led produ product development for a successful mobile app. So you can kind of see uh, both have intermediate level of development experience. If you're looking for someone who has advanced experience, then Wendy Clark might be the better choice as he has a leadership during a role. So you can see we get a more natural language response from our kind of from our SQL database, sort of. And we can do all kinds of queries. So let's just try something else here. So we can do, we have some cybersecurity challenges in our company. We need a team of two people on this. Who are the best candidates, right? That could be something we search for. And yeah, we get, again, we get like a semantic search. And we get a keyword search pulled. Based on the given context, Ian Clark and Alice Cooper are the best candidates for your cybersecurity team. Both have an expert level experience, conduct high profile cybersecurity exercises. And we can also confirm this by looking at the context here. So Ian Clark is a consultant, expert lead, red teaming in large scale cybersecurity exercise. So yeah, I guess this is working kind of how we intended it. But of course, this kind of uh, database could have hundreds of entries. So I haven't really tested this at scale yet. But for my initial tests, it has been working pretty good. So yeah, that is basically what I wanted to share today. So you can go ahead and make fun of me in the comments if this is a very stupid idea. Uh, I did no research. This was something just something I... Yeah, I can test this and see how it works. So I haven't looked into it at all. It's just something I just tried yesterday or the day before maybe. And yeah, just wanted to make a quick video on it. So let me know in the comments. Is this stupid? Could we do this better? Should we just forget this? And what do you think? Uh, also, might be doing a live stream tomorrow, so check in for that. Other than that, yeah, I guess I'll see you again soon, and have a great day.